Worldwide Jets, worldwide mess. On the Breakfast Club. She's a coach of shit. Time to set it off. So this goes back to this first story goes back to what you briefly hinted on um, this morning, Envy, about the how people were taking the solar eclipse um, in d- many different ways. People were ending their lives and and all types of things. I don't know if it was you or Charlamagne that said it, but this astrologer influence astrology influencer mm-hmm. Danielle Johnson, who was 34, she killed her boyfriend at their apartment around 3:40 a.m. and then drove off with her two daughters, who had just witnessed the killing. Um, neighbors said that they saw the door wide open and there was a trail of blood on the floor from their apartment leading up to the elevator. But we have a news report on it. NBC4's I-Team has confirmed that Danielle Johnson was also known as Danielle Aoka online. Under this alias, Johnson made several disturbing posts. Some were anti-Semitic. Others warned about the solar eclipse, calling it the epitome of spiritual warfare. Hours before the solar eclipse on Monday, police say Johnson went on a rampage, killing her partner and throwing her children into traffic on the 405 and then crashing her car into a tree on PCH. She Mm-mm-mm. she forced her two daughters in the vehicle after killing her boyfriend, um, and she was driving on Highway 405 Freeway in L.A. The nine-year-old was holding the eighth month the eight-month-old when she forced them out the car, like Mm-mm-mm-mm. threw them out the car. That's crazy. And her nine-year-old lost hold of the baby, who was then struck by a vehicle on the freeway and was Jesus. later pronounced dead. Christ. But the older girl did survive, and she was transported to a hospital. Uh, the mother Johnson then drove to Redondo Beach where she died after crashing her Porsche SUV into a tree at high speeds. Yeah, people suspect that her actions may have something to do with her tweets. Um, her tweets uh, on April 5th, she said, wake up, wake up, the apocalypse is here. Everyone who has ears to listen, your time to choose what you believe is now. If you believe a new world is possible for the people, retweet now. There is power in choice. Repost, make the choice for the collective. But the day before that, it was like it was it was just a little conflicting because she said the eclipse is the epitome of spiritual warfare. Get your protection on and your heart in the right place. This world is very obviously changing right now. And if you ever needed to pick a side, the time to do right in your life is now. Stay strong. You got this with a heart. That was the day before. Sound so, like she was trying to convince herself. Yeah, mm-hmm. trying to convince herself. So that's why I stress investing in your mental health so Jesus. much. I don't care how spiritual you claim to be. I don't care what astrology yeah. you into. Mm-hmm. Are you dealing with what's going on in your mind? Mm-hmm. Are Absolutely you dealing with not. your emotions? Are you on your meds if you need them? That poor nine-year-old girl who has to live with that trauma for the rest yeah. of her life. Yeah, and probably grow ah. up confused and, and grow up um, no blaming herself because she lost hold of her baby sister. You know, wow. after she yep. was forced out the car. So, mm-hmm. yeah, mm-hmm. Um, just. Praying for her as well. Definitely Jesus. sending her healing energy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, in other news, Nate Robinson admits that he doesn't have long to live if he can't get a kidney replaced. Um, Robinson was an 11 year, well, yeah, 11 year NBA. Why, I don't like how the head was. Like, uh uh-uh. uh. 11 year NBA vet who played for the Knicks, the Celtics, and the Bulls. He was also a three time dunk t- uh, contest champion. And mm-hmm. he had, he was saying that he has killed kidney failure he's going through dialysis and all of that and Mm -hmm. dialysis is pretty much um the process that you go through where it filters waste products from your blood but he also shared that he experiences painful vomiting as a result of his Mm. dialysis dialysis treatment um which often leaves him hospitalized for a day or two that drains you as well i remember my grandmother getting dialysis treatments three times a week and she was tired for like a week after that wow. he told male sport that i know that i don't have long to live if i can't get a kidney i know i'm not going to have long to live so i just want to make the best of it as much as i can man they were yeah. a, a virtually relatively young man yeah yeah right? yeah pretty oh, young yeah. uh he gotta be 39 yeah 39 yeah. 39 not sure good dude too man really good guy yeah sending yeah. him healing energy as well mm-hmm. absolutely he said he's just fortunate to say that he's alive like can just be alive right now you ain't got nothing happy over there huh yeah uh yeah actually yes i do got something happy over here what ice spice is making her debut alongside uh, her acting debut alongside denzel washington and spike lee now don't act like you was happy about that i'm not don't but I'm saying, even, don't I'm even just... <laughs> get on this radio and act like you was happy about that. Well, you Keep said you asked me, energy. did I have <laughs> okay. anything happy over there? This is happier than the last two damn stories. Yes, I mean, that is true. because that is true. Um, I love to Why see Spike Lee do that? his thing because, like, it's so many actors that actors and actresses that work hard and they go to acting school right. and they trying to get 
these we, jobs with auditions like and Jessica all that. Robin Moore. And then I, like Jessica Robin Moore and but, a lot of but other we don't people. know what her part's gonna be. She I might, told, that's she what might, I told Jessica. I don't earlier. care if she's she standing might. at the bodega, she working at the bodega, she walking <laughs> past, she handing Denzel some papers. It's like what? What if she just giving Denzel a bacon, egg, and cheese in the movie? First of all, by the way, what if she's a better actor than rapper? Or what if what if she is a we rapper in the movie though? We don't know Listen, what, what if she's playing herself. Yeah, what, yeah, yeah, what, what if she's she playing herself? herself? Oh, okay, that's nice. What if she's somewhere <laughs> in Denzel listening to Munch? And she performed. I it? have no idea. I have no idea. But the name of the movie is called High and Low. The movie is about an executive of a shoe company who faces extortion after his chauffeur's son is mistakenly captured and taken hostage for ransom. So to sound like taken or the equalizer. Sound like she the star. What if she's the person who get kidnapped? This shit don't gotta say nothing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying, what we don't know her role. I don't know. She might be good on camera. She, she, I mean, she clearly good. is good on camera, right? Because she, yep. she, she looks good on camera. She's good on the music. She's good on music. And she's a beautiful girl. Yeah. For, no, listen, now we can't hate our music. Her music is I didn't say nothing. It's her music. It was just the way you looked. I'm 45. It ain't for me. Mm, yeah, all right, cool. But yeah. I like her music. I like her face. She has a nice little curly orange hairdo. It's nice. And I, but and but, I, and but I, I have a right, like me and other actors have the right when we see stuff like this in headlines. Yeah. Oh, Ice Spice is making her debut. And do you know how many no's? Yeah, how many like how many hoops you got to jump through? Ice Spice might have went to auditions? actor school. She might have went to actor school. Yeah. I bet you she didn't. Oh, <laughs> yeah. But I'm just and, saying. And, 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 and yeah, Ice Spice is cool. I respect her. Salute yeah, to her. absolutely. I'm glad she's doing her thing. I just don't like music that degrades people. You know, you're reducing men to just munches. You we're, are a munch. We're so so much, you personally, we're so much more than that. You, you are a munch. Whose side like, are you on? Hmm? Whose side are you on? You're sir? A, I'm a munch. Huh? I'm more than a munch. Oh. I am not just my mouth. Oh, yeah, you a bussy. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm not. I have one. Okay. It just hasn't been activated yet. Don't yeah. take don't take Justice's line from yesterday. It's okay. <laughs> but I like that line. I'm sure you do. I'm sure you've activated quite a few bussies in your lifetime, haven't you? What are you talking about? <laughs> that is just what the mess for the first time. I ain't got nothing to do with that. <laughs> <laughs> well, speak. That's how it sounded? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I hate y'all. Who are you giving your boosters to, man? Listen, four after the hour, we need Wild James Weeks to, to come Whoa. to the front of the congregation. We'd like to have a word with him. All He's right, a Florida man. Wild James. All right. And then after that, don't forget, uh, just fix my mess. 800-585-1051. If you need relationship advice or any type of advice, call Jess right now. She'll help you out with all your problems. All right, Donkey Today's up next. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.